Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, today I got a demo review of uh, A Shampoo Win Optimizer 18. This is software that I use to keep my uh, computer running great, and I thought you might enjoy it as well. But before we get started, check out A Shampoo Backup Pro. A Shampoo Backup Pro 14 backs up your data and operating system automatically to all common storage types and cloud services. Always up to date backups take the fear out of hardware failure, OS issues, or malware infections. Don't miss my demo and review of Backup Pro 14. Plus, learn more and download your free trial by clicking the links in the description below. Okay, everybody. So, I have Win Optimizer 18 opened up here on the desktop. Now, Win Optimizer 18 is software that's designed to clean out your system, remove extra files in, uh, in entries and stuff in like your registry all the extra browser cache and stuff that you don't need and quite a few other things that you can remove out of the computer or fix to improve its performance. A lot of times when a computer gets slowed down, it's because it has so much junk files and stuff in the system that the operating system is just having to go through so much just to get everything running. And what Win Optimizer does is it kind of cleans all that out and also helps improve performance by doing that as well. But it goes through and actually uh, shuts down some other services and stuff that you may not necessarily want. So let me kind of go over all the uh, features and stuff and all the tools and stuff that are within uh, Win Optimizer 18 here. Now, before we get started, this is the default window when it first pops up. However, uh, there is a also a light skin version if you want to go to the light mode. I prefer the dark mode because I think it's easier on the eyes. Okay. So anyway, let's blow this up, maximize it so it covers the full screen here and kind of looks better. All right. Now you, uh, when you're on the smaller version, all these browser ones are all into one icon, and you can click on one and go through all each one of those yourself, and choose what you want to optimize or clean out of that browser. For example, a lot of you know browser cache and cookies and stuff that help clean all that out. But also on top of all the browser stuff, you have unnecessary registry entries, unnecessary files, many leftover files are not being used, invalid shortcuts for any kind of shortcuts that are just piling up from like programs you've uninstalled. And now you get all those broken links and stuff and get rid of all that mess. And also like just like on Windows, you have a lot of unnecessary running services, stuff that are running for no apparent reason other than just seems to be running. They're not really beneficial and hurt your performance. You can shut those down. And also unnecessary auto start entries. A lot of times there's programs that you have to go in and uh, stop running because it's like bloatware stuff that just you really don't need to run at the start. It's programs that you may want to use and may use daily. However, you don't want them at the very start of your windows with starting up because it slows down windows startup and plus it just adds more uh, overhead to what's going on in the system. So it's best to, uh, unless you actually need something to run at the start, like a fire uh, protection program would be one that you do want to start at the pro, uh, you know, beginning. Unlike printer software, you obviously don't want to start at the beginning. Those are for a good example, and those can help you control those. And also optimize the system settings to help improve that. And also optimize the security settings. For example, shutting down windows telemetry mess <laughs> so anyway also that you got a few automatic things you can go over here like auto clean which go through and clears out system traces and stuff for like browsers when they're closed all those you know files and cache you may not want to keep all those on there that'll help clean those out it's up to you you got a live tuner one you can turn on here for accelerates application launches and can automatically terminate newly started processes and you know just the priorities and stuff to kind of help performance there. One here that uh, a lot of people may actually like is Game Booster. And this could help shut down a lot of unnecessary programs running that are not essential to your game running. So that for your game gets more resources handled to it. So if you run it on a lower end system, this could be something to really help you out, especially if you only have like a gigabyte of RAM. All right. So if you click over here, all modules are going to list everything that it does. As you can see, there's quite a few things. I'll just try to cover a few of these. You know, cut clean system, free space, registry cleaning up, fragment, you know, 
you know, issues like in the registry or the drives. You know, then you go down to analyze the system for display system information. You can even run a benchmark, manage fonts, system check uh, disk errors and stuff. Improve performance. You got to manage Windows services, boot processes, uninstall applications, even, you know, optimizing SSDs. And file tools, uh, tools you got here, which are really great. For example, like permanently delete files, encrypt or split up files, recover files, you know, check program shortcuts, you know, and also, you know, manage hidden ADS streams. Customize windows here. You can manage system settings and a very important one, control Windows 10 privacy settings. So like I can say, if you're having those Windows telemetry issues, it's sending out a bunch of information back to, uh, Microsoft that are slowing your system down, especially if it's slow at internet, that can really help. Edit program shortcuts, manage browsers extensions, and also a few other administrative tools and stuff down here, like manage user rights, icon arrangements, and a few other onion things. So lots and lots of tools that come within this uh, software. Now over here, you got a clean tab here to go through to check everything. As you can see, it's running as soon as I clicked on it. And below that one, we also have an optimize. We click on that and it tells you more about what's going on, things you can optimize. Well, I can example down here at the privacy settings I was telling about. You can disable uh, error reporting services. Yeah, I want that disabled. That's annoying. <laughs> disable ro uh, remote access to this uh, system and disable telemetry reports to Microsoft. Yes, because like I said, you got slow internet that can be uh, slowing you down. And also disable Wi-Fi sense on mine because it's a desktop. I have it wired in. Why does it need to be looking for a Wi-Fi if I have no Wi-Fi? So yeah, all those are shut down. So anyway, let's go back over here to overview. And let's go ahead and click analyze and analyze my system. Now, this was ran uh, recently. And actually, I did accidentally ran it. <laughs> Because I actually wanted to show you more things that could and you know, it could pick up. So I'm not sure what how much it will pick up. So let's kind of find out here. Click on analyze and let it check the computer. Okay here. So it says it found 2741 unnecessary objects. We'll kind of go over this, you know, found like 30 kilobyte worth of browser traces in, in Explorer. Ironically weird because I don't use it. <laughs> 404 megabyte of uh, browser traces in Google Chrome. However, I don't want that gone. Uh, almost nine, uh, you know, 9,424 uh, kilobyte Microsoft Edge. Weird because I don't use it either, but it's obviously Windows adding stuff to it. And 18 unnecessary registry entries, unnecessary files, two invalid shortcuts that are break, broken, and all the others seem to look pretty decent for the most part. So let's click on optimize right quick. And there we go. Oh, and one thing was not fixed is that I have one entry within the browser, and that one was uh, cleaned out, not browser, but in the registry, and that one's done. And that's how simple and easy it is to actually use this program. Okay, everybody. So yeah, using Win Optimizer 18 is really easy and it works really well. Now, just a disclaimer, this is software that I do get from a shampoo. However, I use this software, I like this software, and I am not being paid to make this review. However, I am an affiliate with a shampoo. So if you are interested in this software, and you do decide to purchase it using the link down in the description below, I do get a little kickback and it does help support this channel. So anyway, I hope you do like this software. Like I said, the software that I do personally use, I use it all the time because I hate when Windows gets bogged down and this software really does help with that because let's face it, it doesn't matter if you're doing photography, movie editing, audio engineering, or anything in between, like any real content creator, uh, does these days uh your computer is a central tool and if it starts getting slowed down that slows down everything you're doing and makes your job much harder and makes your job uh take longer to do so 
you know, having Win Optimizer 18 is a really helpful tool that I like and that I use to keep my computer running good. So anyway, that's it for this video, everyone. I hope you liked this little demo review of Win Optimizer 18. And if you did, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up so it's highly appreciated. Now, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing's free, it's for you, and let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.